Hi guys, welcome to this new fun new vlog. I'm really excited for this vlog because a few really cool things are happening this week. I'm already quite stressed to be honest. This afternoon I'm going to Brussels because there's a film festival going on and they are doing an art contest. So every evening from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. an artist can come and paint on a canvas. They give you supplies to work with. And I'm kind of stressed because people can just walk by and see what you're doing. And I don't have that much experience with painting on canvas, actually almost none. And then after today I'm going to my parents' house. And this week I'm doing my very first mural in the children's room of my parents. So this is the design I'll be doing. And my paints that I'll use already arrived at my parents' house. Um, I also still need to make my luggage <laughs> today because I have a very long list of everything I absolutely cannot forget for this week. I'll take you with me and I'll show you the progress. I think I'll make a lot of time lapses with my phone. I wanted to give you a quick update about my crochet situation because over the last vlogs I've been showing you uh, the project I've been working on. And it's been over a month now and it's still not finished, but that's because my yarn ran out. So I already started a new project and this one is going a lot quicker. I have this already and this is a project it needs to be turned into. It's so cute and I'm really excited. I'm so happy this project is actually going a, a bit faster. But I'm going to take you with me first to Brussels and then to my parents' house. I still need to make my log luggage, I still need to eat, I still need to do a lot of things. I'm so stressed out, but I promise this will be a very fun and cozy vlog. So let's go! I will not see my baby for a few days and I will miss her so much. I don't know how I will survive without my little baby Mona. So it only starts in about 4 hours but I'm already so stressed that I already want to leave the house and I'm also way too early for the bus. But I don't know, I'm just one ball of stress and I just don't want to sit here for one more hour and just do nothing. I think I'll just go earlier and then at the train station I'll have something to eat and be there very much in time. But I don't know, I just already want to go. I originally planned to only leave the house in one hour, but let's already go, I guess. I'll really miss Mona, my little baby. currently waiting to start but I have no idea what to do now and also my wrap that I bought leaked in my bag and I'm happy not everything got covered by it but that was kind of annoying. The painting really was a trust the process kind of painting. I'm happy with how it came out though although I didn't think it was that special but it's still cute. I really underestimated how hard it is to paint big and I also wanted a very dark purple color but it turned out looking more like black which is fine, I have almost no experience with paint. <laughs> I also didn't have enough storage to film the most satisfying part which was the dark outlining and coloring. I tried to capture as much as possible though. I hope you enjoy the painting as much as I do. I did do it in 3 hours instead of the 5 hours that we got because I was kind of in a hurry. Thank you. 
After that, I spilled paint water on my iPad, by the way, but luckily the case protected it. Oh my god. After the event, I went to my parents. Now I'll show you some time lapses of me painting the mural. I hope you enjoy. Hey guys, it's now the end of the first day. I did quite a lot, but tomorrow I'll have to do even more. Um, by the way, this painting in the background, my mom did this. She referenced another painting, but it's still very cool. So yeah, tomorrow I have to do a lot more than I did today. And today I worked on it for about five hours, but with the preparation and stuff included. And I think I'll start earlier tomorrow because today I only started at 4 p.m. And yeah, at the moment I feel like my muscles are totally broken and my feet are going to fall off because I'm not used to standing up for so long and also my neck and, and my shoulders really hurt from looking up because the wall I'm painting is tilted. It's actually tilted quite a lot and I didn't think about this before coming here. Um, I thought it was like a straight wall. But I really love how it looks so far, my mural. Um, I had to improvise a little bit because the beamer couldn't go further. So the image was a bit cropped on the wall. But then I just continued the rainbow and I also continued the clouds so that it's not just a rectangular picture on the wall I'll just make sure it fits on that wall <laughs> My paint didn't even dry out overnight, which is kind of spectacular. Ready for the second and hopefully last day.
guys, I'm so happy with how it turned out. I didn't expect it to go that well. The only thing I kind of dislike about the mural is this cloud. It's a bit blocky and random, but I do like all the rest. <laughs> Here are some close-ups. Hi guys, I'm now home uh, and I'm doing a little crochet afternoon but today I published like an announcement that I'm available to do project again like commissions, do murals, illustration projects, all kind of stuff I can maybe show you some of the images I shared and I'm very happy because like a lot of family members commented very <laughs> nice things on it. I also shared it on Facebook, but I'm not really active on Facebook anymore. And my mom called me up to ask me how she can share it on Facebook because she didn't know how to do it. And I just got a lot of nice comments. Well, not a lot, but mainly like from my mom and stuff like that. I know she's very proud of me and it's just so nice for me because I usually don't share that much of my special interests with family members and stuff like that because I just think they don't really care but it was really rewarding to hear people being supportive of me and yeah they just want the best for me and they're very proud of me which makes me super happy of course I want to go to the library today I also have to do some errands and I want to edit my previous video that's hopefully already online on my YouTube channel now um, in the library because I love editing there and then also publish it maybe already. First I'm going to pick up some more yarn because maybe next week I want to do a everything I can crochet in 12 hours video. That's on the planning but I don't know if I'll be able to do it because it's quite... A big task but I need some more yarn for that so that I can finish up some pieces maybe this um, weekend we're going to Brussels to pick up my canvas that I did in the beginning of this week this is the fit I'm now home. I published the YouTube video in the library. This is this is what the children's room ended up looking like. I love it so much. It's so cool with my mural. I think it fits perfectly. I'm very happy I did it on this tilted wall because we were actually doubting to do it on another wall but I'm so happy with how it came out on this wall. It's so worth it. I bought this set of socks because they looked very cute. Look how cute these socks are. <laughs> I'm gonna wear these today because it's Saturday. So now it's Sunday and we'll go to Brussels to pick uh, now it's Saturday and we're going to Brussels to pick up the canvas.
there she is you guys in the background she is huge we got home at 6 p.m. and then I took a nap and it's now 8 p.m. and I was very confused as to why my alarm was going off and now I got up and I feel like it's 3 a.m. but it's still light outside and you can already guess what I'm going to do this evening yes I'm going to continue on this Hi, so we just came from the gym and now I'm going to make protein cookies to end this video because it's Sunday so I vlogged for one full week and I'm going to show you what I use for my protein cookies well it's actually like the first thing that pops up on Google when you look for a protein cookie recipe so I'm using a lot of protein powder I'm not the biggest fan of protein powder to be honest but in the cookies it's fine I'm going to use a lot of peanut butter. I also don't like peanut butter, but in these cookies it's fine. <laughs> and I'm going to use two eggs, some sugar. This was the cheapest sugar option. I also used coconut sugar before and that's maybe a bit healthier. I don't know, it's sugar, it's not never healthy. But I'm going to use this sugar. And then some chocolate chips and I'm going to mix them all in a bowl and then make little cookie shapes on the oven plate and then put them in the oven um, but first I'm going to take a shower because it was a very heavy workout we worked out for one hour so I'm going to start with measuring everything and then putting it in this bowl it's a very easy recipe it's just measure everything and then mix everything so I have the measurements on my phone. Let's start with the eggs because I don't have to measure that. Oh, and I'll also put my oven on. Next, we're going to measure the sugar. We need 160 grams of sugar, which is quite a lot, but they are cookies after all. Next, I'm going to measure my protein powder, 120 grams. <laughs> Good. Next, I'm going to do the chocolate chips, which is 60 grams. And last but not least, the peanut butter, which is 240 grams. Okay, that's enough. And now I'm going to blend everything, mix everything together with my hands. <laughs> These cookies are so good, by the way. I really recommend this if you go to the gym or just are an active person who wants muscles. And then I'm going to make these into cookie shapes and put them in the oven and I'll show you the results soon. I just did my nails finally after two months or so. They are very basic now, but they're still done. I haven't done it because I was just a bit too lazy and I'm also scared of the UV lights, to be honest. I have the cookies here, let's do a taste test. Before I forget, I want to show you what I've done for my cardigan so far. I have two of these pieces. These will be in the front. Now I'm working on the back piece. And this cardigan will turn out so cute because I'm using multiple colors. But also, next week I have a how much can I crochet in 12 hours video planned. At least if I feel like it. 
but that video will be a lot of fun and just me crocheting all day long I want to finish up some projects that I haven't finished yet and I feel really bad about them not being finished so I thought maybe I can do like a 12 hour video but well not the video the video will not be 12 hours long but me crocheting for 12 hours and finishing all my projects that still need to be done so be sure to subscribe if you want to see that video or if you want to see other content I mainly do illustration crochet crafty kind of content and if you enjoyed this video, please let me know by liking, commenting and subscribing. And I'll see you probably in the next week or in the next two weeks. I hope you have a good day or night. Bye bye!